Our goal on this is very much with a public safety and public health lens, uh, making sure we're protecting our kids, making sure we're protecting our communities, making sure we're replacing uh, the organized crime that right now uh, is uh, the seller of marijuana to, uh, to citizens. Uh, this is uh, something that we want to get right. Of, of treatment, there's pretty solid evidence that can be helpful in alleviating uh, chronic pain in adults, nausea from chemotherapy, and then spasticity or muscle spasm in people with multiple sclerosis. I think one of the things that, that we are learning is directly because of the experience in a number of U.S. states that have legalized. We've been able to uh, go down and learn from their successes, their failures. Uh, that has definitely helped us inform how we're going to move forward on, on, a, on a legalization framework. One of the big differences is uh, we see uh, states like Colorado move forward very much with a commercial mindset and already thinking about profits and, and, and revenue, mm -hmm. uh, whereas we're approaching it purely from a public health and safety standpoint. Uh, you know, all the question of, of revenue and taxation um, is secondary to the fact that uh, we want to make sure we're keeping our communities safe and uh, not hurting Canadians. <laughs> If you look at the projected uh, tax revenues in Washington State and in Colorado and also nationally, Colorado 67 million, Washington 560 million, uh, a hypothetical look uh, more nationally 5.8 billion dollars. What do you make of that, Dan? Well, you know, I think the, the taxation revenue is the icing on the cake. I mean, for most Americans, the reason that they want to tax and regulate marijuana, again, is to no longer arrest and prosecute adults for using something that's safer than alcohol. My background is as a prosecuting attorney, and I just felt like it was a waste of my time and my taxpayer dollars arresting people for something that's really just not a threat to public safety. Uh, so if we can you know, take revenue away from drug cartels and, and reallocate law enforcement resources and do all of those things, that makes sense. And if we can maybe collect some tax revenue on top of that, then that's, that's icing on the cake.